Hi, how's it going? I'm Marlene. Thanks for wandering by. So I, something happened <laughs> this, this morning, like just now, and I really wanted to film it, record it and share it with you um, because it occurred to me while this, when this happened, that it's, it's, a, it's a tarot spread or it's a tarot practice or it's something that I can share with you that feels a little bit different than how I've normally worked with the tarot. And I wanted to share it with you and you will be able to tell by the thumbnail and the title that this is, it feels like a choose your own adventure. I don't know, um, I'm not gonna waste too much time um, with backstory about all this, but um, I'm a child of the 80s uh, and in the 80s, I think and into the 90s, there were these books that were called Choose Your Own Adventure and you could go through, the, the premise of them is that you started out the book and then you would reach a turning point in your adventure and you could choose your path you could choose your own adventure and so it would take you to like a door or it would take you to um you know anything that was happening in the story and you had options and so you would um it would tell you at the bottom of the page like if you want to do this turn to page whatever if you want to choose this path instead turn to this page and so on and so forth. And so you would choose your adventure and then these different outcomes would arise because of your choices. So I that wasn't what I was thinking when I started working with my cards this morning, but it's kind of what evolved as I was going through. So what happened was, is I um, I went to my cards, I'm working with, this is the Wildwood Tarot, and as always, I'll leave links for the cards that I'm featuring, the decks that I'm featuring below. But what happened to me this morning, uh, it's morning where I am, <laughs> and it's kind of gloomy outside, so sorry for the light, um, but what happened this morning with me is that I was feeling a little bit directionless. I was feeling a little bit lost. And recently I've been trying, I've tried to, um, you know, I've, I've used this before, but I've tried like compass spreads where you, you know, put down directionalities for your spread positions. And that was my intention when I first started with this is that I was going to put down north, south, east and west and have each of those um each of those directions correspond to something because you can you know like your guide your guide whatever but that's not what happened so i won't spend too much time on that what happened was is i put down these cards and i felt like what the cards were telling me is that i needed to pick a path that I needed to choose my own adventure, if you will. And I flipped the cards over, so I'll show you what happened. So for North, I got 20, the Great Bear. And so the, the Wildwood, if you're not familiar with it, kind of veers from your traditional Waite Smith, and it has different imagery, different titles for um, lots of things. But I don't wanna, spend too much time focused on, you know, the particulars of this deck. I just want to tell you about this, what happened. So for North, I got 20, the Great Bear. I turned over South and I got the Seven of Vessels. And this has a keyword morning. For East, I got the Wanderer, Zero, the Fool card, really. And for west i pulled the green man or it's equivalent to the emperor this is equivalent to the fool this is equivalent to judgment and this is equivalent to the seven of cups if you want to read it that way but regardless i have a i have a you know um a an understanding of the wildwood tarot a little bit but i've been using the guidebook along with it anyway 
what happened was, is as I was looking at this, I realized it didn't feel like this reading was about these different directions that each meant something to me. What this was saying to me is that I needed to choose my path and I needed to choose what was calling to me as, as the direction in which to go. And when I was looking at them, I, I felt like I was in, like I was reading one of those books, those choose your adventure books where I had to make a choice. I had to make a decision and and I felt very drawn, I, I felt two things. I felt there was one that was, that was calling me and telling me this is the path. And then there was another one that, that was the, is the one that I wanted to go down. Do you know what I mean? So this is not really, not really happened to me before during a tarot reading kind of, kind of. Um, like what it does is it brings up for me the idea that a lot of, you know, a lot of us say, if you're a tarot reader, a lot of my more veteran tarot reader friends often say in disclaimers when they read for other people, um, a disclaimer or really just like an ethical, like upfront kind of belief about how they see tarot readings is that they're when you're doing a like a yes or no or a predict more predictive type of reading um you know if you have a, a position that is for the future or whatever it may be what they say is is that this is what where you could end up if you continue this way but you have your own agency you have your own free will you have your own choices and so um you can change things you know it's not written in stone so to say so to speak so that's that's what i thought of and i that's why i thought that like this is may seem weird as a like a tarot practice um because it's kind of like taking what you'll see me do now is choose from these directions and put aside other cards and I don't know I don't necessarily think that that means that these other cards are dismissed like if I wanted to I could follow the path of all four of these cards and see where it leads me but rather what I chose to do is I chose to follow two pa like adventures, paths. I chose based on what was really speaking to me as what I should do or what I need to do and what I want to do, which um, I mean, I don't know, you may disagree with me in like how I did this, but this is just what happened. So I wanted to share it with you. So I looked at all four of these cards and I looked at my North card and this bear that was, you know, that's on this. I mean, there's more involved in, in the guidebook and everything about this bear, but this image just intuitively was calling to me, reaching out to me saying, this is, this is the next step. This is the direction, this Northern card is the direction that you need to go. But I looked over here um, at the fool and that felt like that's what I, like that's what I want. That's the, that's the place where I felt like for some reason, this felt like need, like this was calling, but this, this felt like it felt right in a way as well. Like that's what I'm like longing for. Um, and so I don't know if that means that that's, you know, I don't know, d like that that's not a real tarot reading, <laughs> but I'm just saying, I'm just taking you with me. So what I did was from here, and then I just, I, I sort of said, these two aren't, they aren't speaking to me. This isn't like, it's not the choice I wanna make. Do you know what I mean? So like if I'm choosing between north, south, east, or west, I'm choosing either of these two. And I want to follow these paths and choose this adventure and then see what happens with these. And so what I did was is I put those these two cards aside and I put these two cards here and then I 
I grabbed my um, Seasons of the Witch Oracle and I pulled, you know, I shuffled and pulled two cards for each one of these so I could have an answer. Like, if I were to choose this direction, what does that mean for me? Like, what, it, what does that mean for my path? Like, where am I headed then? So if I follow this path of the wanderer, or if I follow this path of the great bear, then what, you know, where, where is it taking me? Where is it leading me? And so when I drew the wanderer first, because that was the one that I felt like I wanted, um, the card that came up here is perseverance from the, um, from the seasons of the witch. So it, it just struck me. So it was so interesting to me and it just struck me because it's like, if you, you know, the word perseverance came up, that stood out to me that like, okay, you think you want to go this way? <laughs> you think that this is the way that you should be going, that you should be, um, you know, stepping off the precipice, that you should be taking risks, that you should, you know, um, everything that the, the wanderer here, the fool card means, but it's going to take perseverance to go that way. So even though this is what I thought I, the direction that I wanted to go, it may, it may be filled with you know, spillage or obstacles and things. And then the great bear, I was like, this bear is just like saying my name. Like this bear is telling me that this is what, you know, what is going on. This is what direction I need to be taking. Um, and I know this is a little bit vague because I'm not like speaking to like specific, you know, things in my life, but what came out here is the solstice card. And which is like, you know, the solstice is coming up. It's also this word, the, the solstice is going to be part of the um, next week's, is it next week? Yeah, next week. Um, anyway, like it's just more, this is just what happened when I pulled this card is it just felt more predictive. Like this is what is coming. This is what's actually in you know, in the next few days, what makes more sense for me in terms of direction. And I just thought that this was so cool um, as an idea, as a choose your own adventure. Um, I'm not, I just don't, I'm not going to get too much into the nitty gritty about like, you know, what these mean to me specifically for my own life. But like, I just wanted to share that with you because I thought it was really amazing that you can, and I don't, you know, it, it's kind of reminiscent of like when you, you know, if you ever do or watch pick a card readings that you're picking from different, you know, you're picking from different piles. But this feels a little bit more, um, like I have a little bit more, it's more a mirror of myself because it's me, you know, doing the reading for myself. So that's one one way that you can do this and i came up with then after that i had this brainstorm of ideas where i thought that this there's another way that we can kind of do a choose your own adventure and i um so let me put these aside i remembered that i have this um oracle deck that is called um the divine doors oh you know what let me get the box so yeah, so I went to grab the box. So this is one of these little teeny mini decks and I used to use this a lot um, a while ago. But anyway, this is the Divine Doors and it is um, all, let me take out the ones that I had, had picked. But like it is on the backs, it's all these doorways, um, doorways, it's just doors. And then it has messages different messages um, on the front. I never know which one to call this. Is this the front or is this, this feels like the back and this feels like the front, but who knows? Whatever way you wanna say it. But this is the Divine Doors. It's these beautiful little teeny mini cards and it has all these doorways. And so I immediately after I had this compass reading, right, where it was like, choose your direction, I felt like, 
Um, I could use this deck in the very same way with a choose your own adventure by opening the door. And so I grabbed this and this is what I drew. So I drew these three doorways. So this is something that like, you know, you can do with any deck, but this is, you know, just really cool because of the doors. And I decided that what we could do is, and this is not, so that the other one was like my actual reading and this is, eh, you know, maybe a reading, maybe not, but I just, this is sort of more of an example piece for you. Um, these three, and I said to myself, now I'm saying to you, <laughs> that the reading can now be a choose your path with these three doors. And you could, you can, so when I, you, you could follow all three if you want to. I'm interrupting myself, I always do that, sorry. Because what I was gonna say is that when I used to read the Choose Your Own Adventure books, I mean, I feel like those of you that are my age or that, that you know, interacted with those books know what I mean. I would make a choice and I would read through based on my choice but I had to know what the other ones were. You know, I had to know. So I would also <laughs> go back and see, well, what if I did this? What if I did that, you know? And it's like it's like that movie um, with Gwyneth Paltrow. What's it called? Sliding Doors. There's another, there's another movie like that that just came out recently too, where it's like, you know, um, if you, you know, choose this door, not that door. Anyway, that kind of thing, like fate. This is all, this is all like tied to fate and free will and what, you know, that kind of stuff, which is amazing. Anyway, I'm getting so excited, but like, um, and that's like topics for another time probably. But what I wanted to just show you real quick um, is what the tarot and other oracle that I grabbed to do this reading with the doors. And so just for the sake of brevity, I'm not gonna follow all, well, maybe I will, let's see. But first, um, what I decided when I looked at these three, and I bet you're deciding right now which door you would have picked, um, but I chose this one. And it called to me just because it was this like series of doorways to go through. And it felt like I wasn't ready <laughs> at that moment to just step through. Um, maybe there would be more doors if I had opened these, right? But this feels like where I needed to go. So I took these aside and I put this one here and I grabbed the, um, the deck, the Ethereal Visions Tarot. And I also grabbed my Pear Tree Court Oracle by the lovely Danny Mystic. Um, and I, I drew cards. And so I said to myself, just really very basic, like why, how, like, so this is what's on the other side. What's the focus? Where is, what, what happens, right? And this is why, this is how, and then this is with what. So when I turned them over, this is what we saw. What we saw, what I saw. Um, and so the message is passages spiritual signs of inclination, you're walking through passages of your transformation. And that, I mean, like so matches the, the image of these doorways. So it feels like that the answer for following going through this door means that there's more milestones, there's more gateways or more things um, you're making and you're transforming, but you have, you have more to do. So why is that? And we got the, we, I keep saying we, I'm so sorry, but you know, you guys know. Um, the two of pentacles, so why and how, the four of swords, and then with what? Love, why, how, and with what? 
Isn't that gorgeous? I mean, it's gorgeous aesthetically, but it's also gorgeous. Like it's a beautiful message. Like you basically, you know, in summary, by going through this door, you have more work or more things to learn, more knowledge to gain, more like more ways to change really is what it is. Cause passages, like you have more, you know, more things to step through in the way that you're changing. Why is that? Because you're trying to find a balance. Like you're trying to maybe balance who you are, like different um, sides of your own identity. Um, and, you, and you need more walkways in order to do that, more things to learn, it feels like. Um, and how are you gonna do that? Well, you're going to do that by um, through some, like, um, like through structure of your own, like, peace of mind. Like, you're going to take a break from mm, the way you've been doing things and maybe find some sort of truce between your dualities here. Um, and with what? Well, with love. <laughs> and so that means that you're going to do all of this of transformation through duality and balance and you know peace of mind and structure is coming from you know you're going to find it through the love and love and support love of those around you maybe maybe even like self you know um loving yourself and and accepting yourself and things like that uh, so yeah, so that was what was behind door number one. <laughs> and real quick, I guess I can I can follow the next adventure if you want to see. Um, I'll show you what the adventure would be if we did, if we chose door number two. So let's say we chose door number two. And we said why and how and with what. I've already shuffled all these cards. So you can take door number two and you can see, you know, um, you can follow all these paths and see which one resonates or feels right or is, you know, um, the choice that you want to make. Or you can literally just choose the one and then and then go with that. Secret sketches. Wander and seek the familiar and friendly kind. Draw memories in sketches for others to find. Hmm, that's interesting. Secret sketches. Wander and seek the familiar and friendly kind. Draw memories and sketches for others to find. So it feels like it's about, um, this feels like it's about interpersonal relationships, friendships, connections with other people, and things from the past um, that you are bringing up. Um, you know, uh, things that are drawn. Uh, but that seems more like a metaphor. So why? Temperance, ooh, balance is like such a, <laughs> a, a uh, uh, theme here. Judgment, so why, how, and with what? Trust. It really feels like that if you go through this door, you are kind of opening a door to things that have been drawn, like memories from the past and um, what's, you know, what you need to be looking for is some kind of friendship that, um, that kind of matches that memory. That's what I'm feeling there. Why? Because you need to mix things to get the results that you want. You need to like bring your past into your present. Um, and kind of marry those ideas together. Um, that's why. And how, um, by leveling up, by following the call, by really um, um, trusting yourself for the next, the next level, the next um, big thing that you're, you know, interested in doing. Uh, and with what? With trust. This really definitely feels like it's like a friend group sort of thing. But let's take a look at what the third door would have told us. So if we followed door number three, 
we would have said why, how, and with what. Okay, so what's on the other side of this door? Two, two, or 11, 11 <laughs> is the Roman numeral two, 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 it seems like. Numbers in doubles, synchronicity in two. Don't hold back your love now. Life, life is meant for you. Pass this card on. These, this Divine Doors is interesting. Two, two, numbers in doubles, synchronicity in two. Don't hold back your love now. Life is meant for you. That's interesting. Numbers in doubles. I wonder if we're going to get twos over here. So why the Page of Swords? How, the Seven of Swords, ooh, and with what? Control. Huh, so that's really cool. It feels like if, if, if we were to follow this door number three, which that didn't feel like the right one to me, um, that there's, there's this like inclination to move forward, not holding back, like, to be daring um, and you know, that it's going to be, maybe there's something to do with like two choices, you know, or two things that you've been thinking about or you've noticed some synchronicities or whatever it may be, but really the message is about um, like kind of embracing life, embracing, like not holding back and moving forward, you know, um, and being honest. And it that that jives, you know, why with the Page of Swords? Because the Page of Swords for me is like all about this idealistic um, truth, you know, search for truth, like this very this very brave um, kind of looking for answers type of per personality and energy. Um, how? Well, the Seven of Swords is, you know, it can be considered the sneaky sneak card, at least always says that, or the something deceptive, but it really more feels like um, this is about like calculated choices, calculated intelligent choices um, that you have to, yeah, it's like you have to manipulate in order to follow this path and have, and with what? With control. So like, don't go crazy with all the, you know, ideas, but if you're under control, if you keep control and it's calculated and it is still, you know, bold and a little bit daring, um, but you know, still with some innocence there that you will, you know, you'll, you'll pursue, you'll pursue and not hold back. That's what this feels like. <laughs> but like, I mean, this is not really a pick a card reading. This is like, if you had gone, if you had opened this door, this is what you would find behind it. And I just thought it was really neat. I just thought it was a really interesting exercise because you really can choose your own adventure with the cards. You can, if you're like me today, feeling a little bit um, directionless and like you needed to, you needed different choices. You needed to see different paths. You needed to look, look past the doors, you know, look through these doors and see what it is that could potentially, you know, be behind them. If you needed to see what, you know, was what these directions where these directions, where these doors could take you if you felt like empowered to choose your own adventure, choose your own tarot adventure um, and follow, you know, the message in that way, I thought it would be a really, I thought just thought it was a really, really interesting way to approach the tarot um, if you're reading for yourself. And and those readings that I did, you can, you know, if that resonates with you, then that's cool. But it was more just like a practice and an exercise for me. So that is a, a very excited me talking about what happened randomly today and then just me really wanting to share it with you. Uh, a 
a choose your own adventure tarot reading. Uh, I thank you for sticking around with me as always, and I hope that you all have a beautiful, wonderful day.